The mother of kidnapped American journalist Stephen Sotloff has appealed for her son's release, addressing by name the Islamic State's leader, Abu Bakr al Baghdadi. Here's what else she said in that video. Take a listen. Since Stephen's capture, I've learned a lot about Islam. I've learned that Islam teaches that no individual should be held responsible for the sins of others. Stephen has no control over the actions of the U.S. government. He's an innocent journalist. I've always learned that you, the caliph, can grant amnesty. I ask you to please release my child. After going missing last year in Syria, 31-year-old Stephen Sotloff reappeared at the end of an IS video that showed the beheading of fellow American journalist James Foley. The mass militant in the video threatened Sotloff's life, saying it depended on America's next move. Meanwhile, a big sigh of relief for the family of Peter Theo Curtis, the American writer who was held for two years by another Syrian militant group, the Al Nusra Front. In a brief statement outside his family's home, Curtis told reporters Wednesday he was overwhelmed and grateful to the brave, determined, and big hearted people who helped coordinate his release earlier this week.